it is time for my personal top five favorite characters of Miraculous Ladybug. I just want to warn everyone that there is a major cringe warning in this video. It's very cringy. Okay, sorry, bye. It has been 10 months. 10 months since I have last posted my last top 10, or in this case, top 5. Anyway, warning to everyone just now that I am going to be doing some construction on my channel. I'm trying to figure a few things out. No worries. Anywho, let's, uh, let's jump into my top five favorite characters. And at number five, we have Adrian Agress. Well, let's see. Adrian likes croissants, can play the piano, is allergic to feathers, and his favorite animal is a cat. Uh, some other cool news about him is he likes anime, which is ironic because he was originally going to be an anime character. <laughs> I know, hilarious, right? Well, his... As an anime character, his original name was Felix, and his last name, Agrest, means grayless butterfly or something like that. Butterfly, guys, please. Anyway, and, or dark one, and dark one, kind of. And also, in a future seasons, he's going to be shown playing a piano, and he's going to be shown making cookies. Learning how to make cookies. I wonder who teaches him that, huh? Huh? <laughs> and coming in at number four is Mylen. Now, before anyone says anything, the only reason I like Mylen better than Adrian is because she has a relationship with Ivan that is adorable, and they've actually gone somewhere. They have kissed before, and she and him actually remember it. Her favorite song is Smelly Wolf, and like I said, she's in a relationship with Ivan. And they're adorable. They're like one of my favorite ships ever, aside from Mary Shat. Sh Mary Shat forever. Ooh, and coming in at number three is Plague. Now, I'm sure you're all surprised that Kwame is on this list, but let me explain. I think he is so cute, he's got sass, he doesn't put up with Adrian whining over Ladybug, which is thing. I don't know, I just think he's really cute and adorable, and I don't know, I just like him. Also, his name is like based on the plague. He also, you know, is obsessed with cheese. It's the only thing he'll eat, and sometimes he will play as a puppy, and all he does is watch TV, which I can relate. I love Plague. Anyway, coming in at number two, which I'm sure isn't a surprise, is Alia. People even say that I sound like her. Hey, girl. I'm sorry, that was cringy. I'll stop now. <clears throat> and apparently she has siblings, and they showed up in the Christmas episode. I'm not sure if I was distracted by the singing, but I did not know this. Apparently her whole family, by the way, fun fact, is named after jazz singers, and she's named after an R&B singer, which is pretty interesting. She's a new student at the school. Uh, she's the only villain in the entire series who actually managed to get one of the Miraxes off of them. She got the ring off of Chat Noir. And also, she is one of the most reoccurring characters in the series, aside from, you know, like the main Hawk Moth, Marionette, Ladybug, all those people. She has a beautiful relationship with Nino. She's one of my favorite chips. And, spoiler alert, she's gonna be Volpina, the real one. Haha, <laughs> yay. Sorry, I'm rushing. I'm being really fast. My battery's about to die. It's not like 10% and I need to finish this. Anyway, coming in at the number... Oh, no, I just got battery alert. Coming in at the number one spot is Chat Noir. Of course, I love him. I say Chat Noir because I watch the subtitled versions, but in English is Cat Noir. And did you know, in Korean, they say Black Cat, and in Russian, it's translated to Super Cat? Anyway, he says that his suit is made out of boyfriend material, which is so cute because it is, and his ears and tail are made out of the same material. Even though they are not real, he can control him them with his emotions, like when he sees Ladybug, his tail goes up to, into a little heart and that's so cute. Anyway, focus Mirabeam. And he's my number one favorite character in the series because Mari is shot forever and he's so punny. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being so cringe. Anyway, an animal mention to Dark Cupid, not only for his fabulous outfit, but also for making this happen because he's the cause of making them kiss and hello. That means he is one of my most favorite people in the world because this kiss is iconic. Like, more iconic than Star Wars. I mean, people may hate on me for that, but it's true. Dark Cupid, you have a special place in my heart. 
Anyway, anyway, everybody, that is it for this video. Please like, and if this video gets 5,000 likes, I will tell everyone what like my least favorite characters it is. Well, not least favorite, but the ones I think need to be improved. So hit that like button because I'm rushing and I'm tired. Anyway, guys, that is it. The end of this video, finally. I'm rushing because usually I do the editing during and it takes, you know, a day. Not a day, but it takes a while to find all the pictures. And then I just do all the voiceover and then I post it because I like to rush in the end. Anyway, so that's it for this video. This is Mirror Bean, beaning out. Anyway, let's drop right in. I la, 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 da, 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 da. <clears throat> By the way, did you know that she had three younger siblings? Two of them are twins, Ella and, oh, I forgot their name. Darn it, this is a blooper. I forgot one of the names. What was I going to say? I don't know. Do all that YouTuber stuff. Like, subscribe. This is Mira Bean. Beanie now. No, I'm not because I have something to tell all of you. Never mind, I don't, because okay, bye.